everybody myself i am govin matwa from n division i am from team 4 of exploration team um, our uh, need statement is automatic ball launcher machine and uh, my teammates are uh, sumit kureshi sai kiran and el manoj kumar and we are performing this project under the guidance of mrs radhika amshi madam here first comes our problem definition in our problem definition we need to design an automatic ball launching machine and which should be portable and user friendly it should not harm the person who is using it and its dimension should not exceed 1000 square meter which is a constraint and it should you we should use standard parts in the end. and the ball should be sensed by the machine and this is one of the function of the machine it should launch the ball with a minimum height not less than 2 feet this is a constraint in addition to that it should be having a light weight with a proper uh, angle of launching and it should indicate when the ball is inserted in the holder and when the machine is switched off and when it is not there in the holder and this indicates the right entry of the ball in the holder it should hold the ball properly and it should be bounced and the ball which we are launching should not exceed the area of 19.63 square inches which is the area of tennis ball size and the ball should be launched parabolically and the machine weight should be less than 2 kg which is one of the constraints and the cost of the machine should not exceed rupees 3000 rupees this is our problem definition here comes our function tree ball launcher in that we have three sub systems those are handling unit launching unit and indication unit in handling unit we have the function such as hold the ball sense the ball push the ball grip the ball and restrict the size of the ball and in launching unit we have launch the ball vary the speed of ball and one ball at a time and speed uh, and spin the ball and restrict the number of balls should be entered or kept in the holder and in our indication unit we have a function such as blink the light when ball is entered in the holder and machine on and off these are our Uh, function and next we have as i said in the uh, function tree we have three sub systems such as handling unit launching unit and indication unit we are uh, by seeing our curve project name we had uh, generated some concept so this is first concept which we have generated with the two wheels and uh, uh, which has the uh, motors to apply force for the ball to launch and in our second concept we have used uh, same two wheels and uh, but we had used the motor uh, we have kept a motor down side and we have attached rubber to the wheels so that uh, it should uh, wheel should rotate and uh, they should launch the ball and next we had used third concept is our third concept is uh, by using a spring and uh, our last fourth concept is we are using chain and sprocket mechanism to launch the ball we have selected the fourth concept which uh, since it is uh, it has a less weight and uh, it cost the less money and uh, uh, it is simple so it can be made in a less amount and uh, china sprocket mechanism is there so it is somewhat good so by analyzing our pug chart we had selected this fourth concept so uh, this is our concept which had selected model this is our selected model which we are going to uh, manufacture or produce next our virtual implementation part this is our 3d model this is rubber and this is holder and this is motor and this is such a holder only one type of holder here when the motor starts rotating this chain will start rotating and for this chain we have attached one lock that lock will stretch this holder back since here we are attached rubber to that holder when it will stretch maximum when it will when the motor will uh, touch the holder at maximum point 
it will open this open lock will be open so since the, the force of this rubber the um, holder will be pulled up when the holder will be pulled up due to the force of that the when the ball we kept in this launch and this is only our main work we should launch the ball so this is our virtual implementation model 3d model next comes our circuit diagram of the entire system in which we have launching unit and here we have indication unit and in launching unit we have mainly motor and audio and in indication unit we have one uh, sensor that's all next this is our flow chart the main first will start the machine and motor will get on and audio will be activated and uh, chain will start rotating and rubber rotate along with the chain and the pin is attached to the triangular shape moves and the launching the ball and after launching the ball the machine will get switched off and DC motor stops rotating and Arduino will get Arduino will get off next comes our bit of materials required for the required for the entire system we use foam sheet, acrylic sheet and one rubber for that foam and uh, we use conveyor belt also this is our wheel of material and this is our motor sizing and battery sizing of entire system first we need to find the force on the motor therefore the equation to find the force on the motor is f is equal to fa plus mg sin alpha plus mu cos alpha we are fa is the applied force and f is the total force on the motor when we need to find the torque on the motor, uh, torque on the motor, uh, then we need to find the torque on the motor. Therefore, equation to find the torque is T equal to F to D if divided by 2 theta. To find the force on the motor, we need to find the applied force. Therefore, equation to find the applied force, F is equal to K into N, where K is the rubber constant of a sling, slingshot. So, K equal to 6.668 Newton per meter. Let x equal to 0.3 meter and uh, we will get applied force as 2 newton and uh, f is equal to 2 to 1.2 into 9.8 into sin 35 uh, plus 0.3 into cos 35. So f is equal to 12 and t is equal to 12 into 0.3 divided by 2 to 0.9. This point and is the value of this eta that will be normally taken as 0.9. So torque you will get 2 kg per centimeter, kg centimeter. So there before we need 6, 60 rpm motor, we need 12 volt battery. These are our function specification of the entire system. So we have some uh, function specification and the functions, functions and functional specifications. Functions are sensible. Wall should be sensed within the, within the range of two, 0 cm to 2 cm and it should hold the ball it will hold the ball of area 19.6 square inches and it should launch the ball it should launch the ball with an angle of 30 degree to 60 degree and light glows on ball will be inserted and inserted the it should show the different colors put the ball into a machine only we need to put only one ball at a time and machine should be on and off that function when ball inserted inserted it should indicate whether the machine is on or off by an IR sensor. It should glow when it is sensed and uh, it should uh, show no color when ball is taken out. And uh, this is our uh, this is our simulation model. Now I am going to explain our simulation. In our simulation, we have components such as DC motor, 9 volt battery with an uh, uh, with uh, LED lights which are of colors uh, red and green and uh, we use one sensor and uh, relay and we use Arduino here red light will indicate that wall we need to keep the wall inside and green light will indicate that wall has got launched and the DC motor will help uh, help the help us to touch the holder back which uh, uh, which is attached to a slingshot rubber now <coughs> you can see red light is glowing which indicates that we need to keep ball inside the holder and 
Next, the body to motor will rotate and stretch the holder back and it will leave it and the ball will get launched and one second after after that uh, the green light will go it can get that ball up for launch and after that some red light will go one second it indicates that you need to keep ball inside the holder and the DC motor will start rotating and that will stretch the one second that will stretch the holder back and it will launch the ball and after launching green light will glow which indicates that ball has got launched this process will continue periodically after some time we have given some delay and uh, with that delay it will work this is our simulation model thank you this adds our simulation here we are given in a youtube link which we can uh, use to see your uh, related video of our project thank you